be honest with you guys, I think a lot of the weekend is okay. Yeah. It's really late in the day on Sunday that we're going to be honing in on the potential of some heavy rain and some disruptive wind. So a lot of the weekend, you can get outside and do things. But here, Sunday night into early Monday, take that weather seriously. So the latest of what we're expecting here, this is going to be a big East Coast storm, not just for us. This is Florida to Maine. Everybody's going to get something out of this. We're probably going to get a lot of wind and rain out of this. It looks like one and a half to three inches of rain across the area. Some spots west of that center of low pressure is going to get three, three and a half inches of rain. Strong and gusty winds, and I have this flagged as the biggest uncertainty right now. How far inland do the strong wind gusts get? We're still a little uncertain about that. It looks like the eastern shore, I think you definitely get 35, maybe even 50 mile per hour wind gusts, but does it make it into Baltimore City? We'll be waiting and watching for that. Moderate coastal flooding looks like a good deal here Sunday night into early Monday, especially down around Annapolis. So 56, get your things done on Saturday. Even Sunday during the day, the rain isn't that windy along with it, so you can Get outside. It's a manageable rain. I think by late Sunday evening, though, if you can be hunkered down wherever you need to be, that's a good bet because that's when the wind is fierce. That's when the downpours are blinding. And that lasts probably into the early Monday morning commute, 54 degrees, with another round of strong winds through Monday afternoon. And then Tuesday, reality sets in 40 degrees and a couple of snow showers possible. So this is a big storm system already, only to get bigger and to get stronger here tonight. Rain from Minneapolis all the way down to Texas. It's raining in Minneapolis, so that shows you this storm system is warm. It's not bringing any snow with it, at least for the first half here, Sunday night and into Monday. We walk the rain chances up on Sunday, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. Turns into a steady rain by late afternoon and evening. Steady to soaking rains developing. Here's the latest future cast model. And as you can see, some spot showers out ahead of it, so turning damp at times, but not a washout Sunday during the day. It's Sunday evening. It comes in like a wall. You see this green here, yellows, oranges mixed in. That's heavier, steadier downpours. You also start to see the wind arrows coming into action here. That's the gusty winds. And so we'll be following the center of low pressure. This is 11 o'clock Sunday night. To the west of that area of low pressure, that's where these torrential rain bands will be setting up. That's where we could get two, three, four inches of rain. To the east of it, probably less in the way of rain along the eastern shore, but more in the way of wind coming on in here Sunday night into early Monday. And this whole system really kind of slow moving here so that by Monday morning, we still may be looking at some leftover rain and some really strong winds. Computer model rainfall, I know there's differences here, but they've really kind of come together north of an inch and a half, a lot of them north of two inches. And our in house graph model over three inches of rain here. So we could get soaked with this. We've been in a drought situation, so that'll prevent a lot of river flooding, but a lot of urban flooding is certainly possible. In terms of wind, this model has the wind coming into Baltimore, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. This is round one of the wind. Then as we move into the overnight hours, it relaxes a little bit. And then Monday, we get hit with round two on the back side of the storm system as the storm strengthens and brings in the colder air Monday night and into Tuesday. If you're doing any traveling this weekend, Florida severe weather possible here tomorrow. And then there's your big East Coast storm from Orlando all the way up to New Jersey here by Sunday afternoon. 56 on Sunday, 54 on Monday, cold on Tuesday, and winter arrives quietly here on Thursday with highs near 50. <laughs> Guys, over to you.